Today we're going to install the Mad Jack's rear seat cover designed for the Genesis 250 and 300 Deluxe rear seat cushions. To do this, we're going to use safety glasses, a staple puller, a razor knife, cleaning solution, 3 8 by 20 gauge staples, and a long nose pneumatic upholstery staple gun. Now let's get started. To make this install easier, we recommend taking the covers out of the bag and putting them in a clothes dryer for 5 to 10 minutes. This will help take out all the wrinkles and make it easier to wrap. If you don't have a dryer, you can set them out in the sun. We're going to start on the lean back. What I want you to do is flip it around and look at the mounting holes on the back. They're offset towards the bottom of the cushion. This is the only way we're going to be able to tell what the top and the bottom is. So now we're going to take off our back plate. You want to lay out your cover on your table like so. You'll notice on your cover that you have a wide portion at the top and a narrow portion at the bottom. The wider portion is for the top of the cushion. So now you're going to place the cushion inside the cover with the top matching on the cover. Now you want to make sure that all four sides are equal around the cushion. We're going to take our staple gun and our safety glasses and we're going to nail the first corner on. You're going to check the seam on the side and make sure that it matches up with the shoulder of the cushion. For now, we're just going to put one staple in this corner. Now we're going to move to the opposite corner and do the same thing. The reason we're alternating corners is so that you don't get the cover twisted in the middle. Now that you have all four corners attached, you want to come back and check and make sure that your stitching is aligned on your shoulder like this. Now we're going to pull on the outside seam here, pull it around and make sure that the stitching matches the shoulder on the bottom. And we're going to put a staple directly over the seam like this. We're going to move to the other side. One thing you want to watch out for here is that both of your seams match the grid pattern on the back side of your cushion. So wherever your one seam laid out is where your opposite seam needs to lay out. Again, make sure your seams match on each side. Now before we do the middle, we're going to do the same thing to the top side of the cushion. We're going to pull our outer seam. Make sure our stitching is good. Staple that corner as well. Do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to take our seams in the middle on the top of our cushion. And we're going to pull them over and check, make sure that they're evenly spaced using the grid pattern on the back side of your cushion. You want to be sure to make sure that you secure these seams very well. Once we have these done, we're going to move to the bottom of the cushion and do the same thing. Now that we have our seams secured, we're going to come back here to the middle areas and pull it tight. What you want to do is you want to have the same amount of overhang as you do on your seams. You want to do your middle here the middle on the top, as well as the sides last. You'll notice going into the corners that you'll have some vinyl roll happening. What you want to do is pull the slack from the middle. This will now create two smaller rolls on either side, and you'll just keep pulling from the middle and work it out as you staple it. Don't be too concerned about having extra rolls right here on the back side. Our lean back cover will help hide those. Once you have the bottom side attached, you're going to come up to the top, pull the slack over, and you should not be able to pinch the vinyl. It should be that tight.
Now that you have all the middle areas between your seams secured, we're gonna move to the side. What you wanna do here is you wanna pull the middle first and attach with three to four staples. You wanna check your seam, make sure your seam is on your shoulder, and then you're gonna work out each side after you staple the middle. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. With our ends now secured, we can move to the middle. We're gonna do the same thing that we did on the ends. Now we're gonna start in the middle and put a few staples and then we're gonna work on the outsides after that. So you wanna make sure your seam is lined up. Put four or five staples in to hold it. Check your stitching again and then finish it out. I tend to put a few more staples here in the middle. Helps hold it a little bit better. Now we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Now you want to check and make sure that your stitching is nice and even around the shoulder of your cushion. Once you're happy with it, you can clean your cushion off and then attach your rear cover. For the seat bottom, you'll notice a dip here. The dip will actually go towards the seat lean back cushion and this will be the outside of your seat kit. So you want to take your vinyl cover and lay it out flat on your table and you'll see that in the center there is a narrow section and a wide section. The narrow section is where your dip in your seat bottom needs to be. So you want to place your seat cushion inside your cover. Make sure that it's even. You're gonna take your front first side and you're gonna staple one staple into the corner to hold the vinyl. You wanna use the stitching on the side corner to line up your vinyl. Again, we're gonna to go to the opposite corner, do the same thing, and then follow suit with the last two corners. Before you move on, you want to make sure that all four corners are evenly attached. You can see up here at the top, I have too much fabric here and not enough fabric here. From looking at it, I feel like I need to pull this side over, so I'm going to take this staple out and realign this corner. Just do one final check, make sure that your stitching is aligned on the shoulder of your cushion. Once you have that ready, we're gonna take the seams here, just like we did on the lean back cushion, fold it over and use the grid layout of the plastic mold to make sure that our seams are gonna be spaced and stapled evenly. Same thing on the opposite side. Now that your outer seams are attached, we can move to the middle seams. Now that all of our seams are attached, we're gonna come back like we did on the lean back and pull all of our middle areas of our seams in and secure with staples. Again, just like we did on the lean back, anywhere you see a vinyl roll, pull from the middle of the roll first and then work it out on either side. At this point, once we have one side stapled, we're gonna pull the opposite side and then make sure that we don't have any loose vinyl that you can pinch in the middle.
Now that we have the middle of our seat cover attached, we can now move to the ends. Just like we did on the lean back, we're gonna pull the middle and staple the middle first, and then we're gonna work our way to the outside corners. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now that you have your sides secured, you want to go back in and check for any imperfections that you may have along the sides of the stitching. If you find anything you don't like, simply pull those few staples out and pull it to where you need to and reattach. Once you're happy with your seams, you can clean your vinyl off and install it on your Magic Seat Kit.